Grace and peace to you, friends. Welcome to The Oak Tree Journeys. My name is Mandy Oaks, and this is the Encyclopedia Challenge. What is the Encyclopedia Challenge, you may ask? That's a great question. The Encyclopedia Challenge is where I read two different encyclopedias to you. Uh, one from the New Imperial Encyclopedia and Dictionary of 1909, and the second one, the Encyclopedia Americana of 1956. If you have those encyclopedias or other encyclopedias and you want to read along, that's fantastic. Um, there are going to be words uh, that are not in other encyclopedias and vice versa. And that's why I've got two that I'm using. Um, and before we begin, this is Season 1, Episode 31. So welcome to Episode 31. Thank you so much to my listeners, uh, both uh, old and new, uh, and uh, young and young at heart. Uh, but I appreciate you listening, and I'm having fun. I hope you are too. And uh, this week, uh, we have... Well, this week I'm doing it a little differently. I have been slammed with trying to get my late aunt's house ready to move into. If it was just a matter of me moving in, I would have already been in here. And I say here because I decided to go ahead and record inside the trailer. And I'm very excited about it. Uh, we've got a lot done. There's not much left to do. Um, it's just kind of tedious work right now. Uh, I'm finishing up the laundry room, uh, taking out the, the washer and dryer, and making sure those are mopped under. And that actually wasn't as bad as under the refrigerator. Uh, but, you know, the tedious work of, of cleaning up a house, especially a house that wasn't yours, and, and, uh, and you're seeing, oh, wow, this is not, <laughs> this is not good. Uh, but just things like that. All I've got left is the rest of the laundry area. Right now I'm taking a break. Uh, I was going to do a video for the YouTube clip, but I realized I am not dressed to be on any type of cameras. Not at all, unless it's uh, the, the photos or videos of people at Walmart. Um, I would fit in very well right now <laughs> with those photos. I don't even know if those are still done. I don't even remember seeing those, but I heard about them. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so no video right now. Uh, maybe later. I did put a photo up of um, my little area I'm working on right now, or working from right now. So if you're on the YouTube clip, that should pop up sometime. Um, right now it's just showing the two encyclopedias that I'm using uh, for reference. Uh, but it should show here in a minute. But I just have to give a shout out to uh, not just my listeners, but people who have helped me out um, during this process. And it has been a process. Uh, it was just going to be a hobby to clean this out and then convert it into like an Airbnb Um and I have, I have not given up on that goal. Um, that that goal is still still there. However, the time frame for it has changed slightly, and and uh, that's because I needed to move out of where I was living. Um, my roommate and I had a discussion, and it it was time for me to move. So fair enough, that's cool. So now it's been kind of a rush, instead of just a hobby to clean the the house out. Uh, it's been a rush to get it out so I can move. Um, but thank you so much to my family and friends who've helped me either physically or through prayer. I highly appreciate it. And oh, here we go. Here's the picture now. Um, that's where I am sitting right now. I'm actually in the floor. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not as prepared as I normally am. Uh, but that's okay. We'll get we'll get through we'll get through it. I thought I would just do it a little differently. I do have electricity in the house. I just don't have a printer hooked up, so I can't print anything off right now. But like I said, it's just the piddly stuff that the cleaning, the, the stuff I don't like to do. I, I dread doing it. So I did a little, little bit at a time and take a break. A little bit at a time, take a break. So that way it's not all, ugh. I work better when I have a friend, hint, hint, or family member, hint, hint. Uh, <laughs> I work a lot faster and better. Um, but... It, it gets done. It's almost done. And then my brother and his friends are going to come in and paint it for me uh, to get rid of the smoky smell and 
It's actually smelling a lot better since I've cleaned the carpets and, and we are washing the walls. I've washed most of the walls and oh, my niece and nephew helped. So thank you so much to you two as well. And uh, it's a little special thank you to them. Uh, so yeah, it's smelling a lot better than it did before. Um, the walls still are still yellow stained. So yeah, we, we got to get that cleaned up. But, but I do want to say a special thank you uh, to a place called Recovery Soldiers Ministry. And again, that's Recovery Soldiers Ministry, or RSM, in Elizabethan. I was at my wit's end. I did not know what to do with her furniture. And this isn't something that I could use. Uh, it's, it was all cloth. Um, I can use, now there are some furniture pieces I can use. It's plastic or metal, and I can clean those up really well. But I'm very sensitive to cigarette smoke, uh, especially if you smoked in the house. Um, and this is, I found out the other day that this trailer has been here for years. We're talking 1990s years. And it's been smoked in since the late 1990s. And I had no idea. None whatsoever. I, I'm not surprised, um, but I just had no clue that it had been that long. Um, so I'm very sensitive to it. So I could not keep the couch and two of the chairs. I just couldn't do it. Um, they would have taken way too much time and money and effort to clean them. But uh, I didn't know what, what to do with them. Uh, my grandfather thought about storing them or dumping them. And then he said, well, well, we can donate them. Well, no one around here that I knew hauled them away. I searched online. I kept getting references for Washington, D.C., Nashville, all different places. But nothing around here until someone from church suggested RSM. And... Sure enough, I don't know why they didn't come up in my search. Sure enough, they do local holloways. So I just have to say a special thank you to them because they came same day that I called within just a few minutes of my call and came and got a couch and two chairs. And not only that, they were able to use the refrigerator. Uh, so thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, and it's a great place, a recovery soldiers ministry. So if anyone from, from uh, RSM, if you're listening, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you're, you all are doing a fantastic job. And uh, I've watched them uh, through the months whenever I pass by driving back and forth. That They do work very, very hard. And it was, the other day was proof of that. Okay, and... So let's go ahead and get on to business. You don't want to hear about my personal life. You're not here to listen about Mandy's personal life. I get that. I understand. But I just wanted to, <laughs> to update you on those things. Um, if you are watching from my YouTube clip, you will see Jim Quick's Limitless Quote. And that, that is this month's quote. Remember, we have a monthly quote. And his quote, for those of you listening on my podcast is one of my core beliefs is that human potential is one of the only infinite resources we have in the world. Most everything else is finite, but the human mind is the ultimate superpower. There is no limit to our creativity, imagination, determination, or ability to think, reason, or learn. So let me just uh, repeat that. One of my core beliefs is that human potential is one of the only infinite resources we have in the world. Most everything else is finite, but the human mind is the ultimate superpower. There is no limit to our creativity, imagination, determination, or ability to think, reason, or learn. And that is from Jim Quick's Limitless. And if you haven't read his book yet, or you don't know who Jim Quick is, and that's K-W-I-K, Quick, uh, I suggest you look him up. He's pretty cool. Okay, and if you want to know what the previous month's quotes were, just go to theoaktreejourneys.com. And we started this uh, two months ago, I believe it was, at the end of two months ago. Uh, so, yeah, just go to theoaktreejourneys.com and select on Encyclopedia Challenge. And there you will find a list of our previous words as well as today's words. Okay, so today's words, um, before break, uh, we will have five words. We ended last week's words word list with arrow meter and so we are going to begin with arrow knot and for the first five words we are going to be strictly in the 1909 new imperial encyclopedian dictionary so arrow knot is a noun one who sails or floats in the air in a balloon an aerial navigator aeronautic 
adverb pertaining to sailing in the air, aeronautics, noun, plural, the science of art or art of sailing in the air by mechanical means, see balloon, also flying. And our second word is aeropathy. So aeropathy is a noun, and it's a process for the cure of asthma and other diseases by subjecting the whole body to an atmosphere of compressed air which has been filtrated through cotton. So it's filtrated through cotton. That's pretty cool. And our next word is aerophone. So aerophone is an instrument for increasing the power of sounds without impairing their distinctness. It consists of a vibrating diaphragm and mouthpiece connected with a piston, which is moved in a cylinder by a current of compressed air or steam. This movement causes the vibration of a large receiving diaphragm, which reproduces in greater volume the sounds uttered in the mouthpiece. The loudness of the sound is determined by the size of the diaphragm and the power of the current by which it is moved. It was the invention of Thomas A. Edison. And I have to say, uh, my roommate and I watched a special on the aerophone and, um, and Edison's invention, and he didn't seem to want to give it up. Um, he, he failed, um, because pro progress was being made and he didn't want to make progress. And, and that was basically the gist that I remember of, uh, the program. And I don't even remember what, what it was that we were watching. Uh, I think it was a Sunday morning special right before I went to church or something. Uh, but it was a, it was pretty cool. And before we move on to our next word... I uh, just wanted to give an update about my Teespring store. Uh, my Teespring store is not ready. Uh, I was hoping to have the link to you uh, today, and it is just not there yet. Uh, there's, it's still glitching. I had to do a video. Um, I had to record it with my phone on my laptop to show them what, what it was doing. And so thankfully, they sent that on to tech support, I have not heard back yet um, about the results of that, so I just do not know. Um, I'm hoping to get it to you um, next week uh, because it will make great gifts for anyone who reads uh, or anyone listening. Uh, you could hint around saying, hey, this is what I want for Christmas. So as soon as I have the link, uh, I will post it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little bummed that we haven't fixed it yet, but it happens. Things happen. You know, things glitch. I probably did something wrong or there might be something wrong with their, their thing. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. But I did want to give you an update on that as well. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to our fourth word for today. And that fourth word is aerophytes. Aerophytes, which is a noun and it's plural. And let me turn the page here. It means plants which live exclusively in the air. Hydrophytes are those living under water. So aerophytes are plants that live in the air. That's pretty cool. It doesn't give any examples. I'm a little bummed about that. <laughs> but uh, that's all right. So aerophyte or aerophytes, or that's spelled with an A-E. Our next word, um, which I thought we were done with, and I'm sure you thought we were done with these two, is the A and E squished together. And if you don't know what I mean, go to the Encyclopedia Challenge uh, from my website, theoaktreejourneys.com, and uh, go down to this site, and uh, or go down, excuse me, go down to, uh, sorry, I was getting a phone call. <laughs> I turned it off. Uh, go down to this, today's, uh, season 1, episode 31, and you'll see the spelling in last week's too, the A-E squished together. I still can't find a name for that, so if you know what that's called, let me know. Uh, it was not in any of the encyclopedias or dictionaries or my entomology. So this aerophyte is the A and E squished together, and all it says is C epiphytes. That's epiphytes. It's E-P-I-P-H-Y-T-E-S. That's all it says. <laughs> so with that, let's go ahead and go to break. Hi, 
I hope you enjoyed that segment from my podcast, The Oak Tree Journeys, from the Encyclopedia Challenge. To hear the entire episode, please visit the link at the bottom in the description. And please don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe and share it to anyone you know who wants to, to read the entire encyclopedia or who's just interested in words. Thank you again and have a blessed day.